thinking about like if the wolf is going to coming out, but against players of this caliber and the characters that they've typically been using, I'm expecting the Wii Fit to come out. Right. I mean, I, I feel like you try the curveball first yeah. against like players that are quote unquote like better than you, obviously. Like, oh, or, you like, gotta hit ranks. him with the cheese. Right. You got Well, you, you gotta hit him with the check. Like, <laughs> do you know how to fight against Wii Fit? Like, <laughs> I know you know how to fight against Wolf. <laughs> I've oh, seen everyone you fight knows wolf. how to fight Wolf. So. Right. So it's like you, you gotta throw in the check. Okay, but surprisingly enough, you know, I, as I was thinking, like, contemplating what characters these players were going to be picking up, I didn't think that Mario was going to be coming out from Nairo. I thought it was going to go immediately to Zero Suit, but here he is, Big Man himself. Oh, man, big combo starter here for Nairo. Already 50% on the stock taker, and Nairo not afraid to go off stage versus Wii Fit, even though we said it can be pretty tough to Edge Garter. Definitely has a lot of different stalls off stage. Yep, Edge Garter and taking her all the way down. Not going to be able to make it back and get in that stock trade. Yeah, in that situation, I believe uh, it's more so up to Stocktaker. I think Stocktaker wanted to stall a little bit and then wiggle out just in time so he could make it back, but Nairo couldn't, but waited too long. Stocktaker even going off stage to try and edge guard tweaks with Arsene. And that big damage being on there. Tweak with the Arsene out, but honestly hasn't been too impactful. Has been getting smacked up here. Down air, doesn't get the spike hitbox and the... Oh, wow, he's still able to make it back even with the directional air dodge. Yeah, and interesting enough, like we saw that stock taker oh. threw a volleyball back. to try and eat, try and hit Tweak, but it actually interrupted what's going on, on the other side of the stage, and it hit Nairo while he was pressuring Suarez. So right there, Tweak just ran out of Arsene, and then a almost fully charged Sun Salutation got countered, and he pretty much has Arsene again. <laughs> so that's not the same Arsene. As no, before. it's not. This is the second Arsene. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Tweak has great Arsene management. Right. I mean, but honestly. Even with this many Arsens, again, I just feel like he hasn't gotten too much value. But I mean, at this point, he's he's at like 177 percent. Like you just got a lot of value just from like the stock tanking in itself. But speaking of stock tanking, look at Nairo. He's already on his last stock. Suarez is still sitting at all three. Oh, sitting at both his stocks still. Yeah, this is looking oh, okay. Up the back here. Um, so right now, red team down a stock. Wow. I think that's okay. He has a double jump. I, Nair, I, I didn't know if Nairo had a double jump or not. Now Suarez going in on Tweak. Arsene has popped out, and immediately we see Tweak like beelining it for the Wii Fit, right? He knows. Oh, and the WAF confirmed not connecting here. Oh, that's huge that for is Red huge. Team. That was the equalizer for Red Team. And this Arsene's about to run out too. Like, but I like the, the approach that Tweak is taking to pressure Stock Taker. He's like getting in Stock Taker's face and then dude, utilizing jump down or jump gun. Uh -huh. Because Stock Taker isn't going to have a way to really punish that or pressure it. And right now, Stock Taker still surviving. Just as I said, the up smash comes through and three stocks to two. This is still a very long uphill battle here for the red team. No WAF for now. And I mean, Joker with only one stock left. Looking tough, but red team trying to dig deep, trying to do it. I mean, it's going to be difficult even to get half WAF at this point, but. I mean, it's really going to be just how like how defensive Nairo is going to be playing. We saw the up air into down air connect with both members of blue team. You know, Waft is looking really tempting. Yeah, blue team, like I said, has been playing so well. Wow, he wow, gets the, the up pick up. air. The pickup off Tweak hitting both of them with the back air. And wait, okay, the fly does get hit up here by Stock Taker. Blue team has done an, a phenomenal job up to this point. Avoided the Waft. Has burned out so many Arsens. Oh, man, Tweak almost dies off the top here, but that Suarez does get rid of the Arsene. And whoa, what just happened to Stock Taker? You know, I was. It has been so long since we actually saw that waft. We saw a partial waft land onto Stock Taker. Wow. He continued to just apply pressure onto Nairo, recovering low. Nairo was able to make it back to the ledge, drop down, partial waft. Wow, and that was. Well, that mean, was the game changer. And that, at least, like, the waft's offline, but still, this 2v1's gonna be very difficult, but Suarez. Clutches out versus Tweak and gets the back air. Not oh. enough to kill Nairo, though. Impeccable DI. And even landing a back air on the way down. Now we see that 1v1 situation. Get rid of that bike. You need that <laughs> to be in your pocket. Okay, there's the Nair out of shield. There's no bike here. Okay, just going to up you straight to the ledge. Almost catches that normal get up. Okay. Throwing Throws it straight up. Very smart. Covering the distance and making sure that he can't no recover way. high. Oh, man. That move obliterated him. What? <laughs> Down air is pretty powerful. Damn, I, I didn't think it was going to kill like a ground level like that. Yoshi with the deuces. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, throw up that throw up that victory sign because you earned it, Yoshi. Suarez 
taking Suarez and Stock Takers taking game one. So I wonder if we stay with the Wario there. Um, they brought it back really hard, though. That was very impressive coming out from uh, Nairo and Tweak bringing it that close. But Suarez able to clutch it out with the back air on Tweak and was able to close out the 1v1 on Nairo's Wario. Honestly, I think, yeah, you, you, uh, oh, I, I thought he was going to switch it out, but, okay, so changing it up to zero suit. Yeah, it's going to give mean, you a little bit more, more, uh, maneuverability. Right, we haven't seen the Politana come out for, uh, Nairo yet in doubles, mainly just going with the Wario. If the Wario doesn't work, we see him fall back to the zero suit. Definitely, like, the trend we've been seeing from yes. Nairo this tournament. Yeah, so I'm not sure if we will see Politana come out. Maybe in set two if it happens? That would be the only condition I think that we would see Politana actually come out. Oh, yeah. So, like, it may be set two or yes. if they lose this game, maybe the Poly will come out. Okay, so Arsene about to come out here for six weeks. And one thing to note about Joker in doubles is you gain and lose meter from your teammate getting hit as well. What? Yeah. So when your teammate gets hit, you also like you gain I the guess meter. That's kind of fair. I think it's better overall, still, because you just get the Arsene quicker. Whoa. Yeah, but you also lose it quicker too, right? Yes, you lose it. Yeah. Wow, and right there, uh, Tweak actually getting in the way of that flip kick, um, getting spiked by it. So that that that's a big deal. See if uh, Blue Team can hold onto their stocks long enough. Suarez still with three in the tank here. Yeah, and the more time that he spends, like. Uh, knocking Nairo around is going to be his more time they take it onto that stock, and less time that Tweak has to actually challenge Suarez. Ooh, try to get the up smash on Suarez, but there's the Nair disengaging, and Suarez just staying back, making sure he is not going to lose this stock here. Stock lead is very, very big. Falling and there goes the yeah, A lot of falling Nair is coming out from Tweak. Uh, really just trying to utilize it to get something started. Oh. Oh, and there goes Nairo again on his final stock, and this is looking very similar to game number one, but just in a different way. Different characters, at least. Mm -hmm. But now, it's, the difference is that, you know, Nairo doesn't have access to WAP. He doesn't have that kill power in his pocket. Oh, getting shot up here, but Weefit gonna snap the ledge, gonna get the berry and the punish from Nairo. Wow, not gonna take that stock, though. Yeah, great DI coming from Stock Taker. He was below 100%, so it's a little understandable why he didn't take, uh, lose his stock. Okay, but Stock Taker's seeing at 120% now. And again, Blue Team with a pretty solid lead here. We'll see if Red Team can get rid of Stock Taker. This could be it. Yes, it is. Of course, get some damage here for a punish, but Tweak there to return it. Yeah, immediately falling over the down air and up tilt of his own. Tweak still hanging on to Arsene, but now Arsene is on cooldown. We'll see if he comes back or how long it takes him to get back, but good spot dodge into F tilt. Yeah, we'll see if we can get a Rebel's Guard. Usually in this situation, another Arsene is going to have to come out from Rebel's Guard. Oh, oh and a shield break. Oh, oh, and the save from Nairo. Wow, that was so good. And there's that falling Rebel's Guard coming from Tweak. Yeah, almost, almost to that Arsene. Got to be careful, though. Okay, he got hit. Going to grappling hook right back to the ledge there. Gets the throw. Wow, the throw almost killed <laughs> Suarez there. I mean, that's like power of the quick throw. You don't really allow your opponent to set up their DI. And we see an up smash out of shield. going to take Suarez's stock, putting blue team at one stock apiece. I just want to talk about how Nairo was, like, the first one to get to his first stock. And Suarez has three, and he's still sub 100%. Nairo playing so phenomenal on his last stock. He's playing so defensive. He's playing evasive. Throwing out these quick attacks whenever someone's trying to follow him. He's weaving around the projectiles that Stock Taker's been throwing out. Woo! Wow. Well, I don't know about that one. Wait, yeah, that was his teammate. Yeah, it was his teammate. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> that, I mean, that was a clean follow up. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Not the person you want, though. Um, right now, Tweak is the healthiest one out of uh, all four players on the screen right now. Oh. Oh, but that was a trade. That was a trade, and it's honestly going to go in Red Team's favor because. I mean, Tweak still sitting really pretty with only 9%. Yeah, this, this trade super worth just because the last two players, obviously the percentage is in your favor. But see if Suarez can get some kind of combo string started here. True, 27%, almost full bar, which means Arsene is at, knocking at the door, ready to come in. Yep, there's the persona. And the up smash trade on the command grab is going to close it out there for Tweak.
So, Tweak and Nairo getting on the board. Yeah, Zero Suit. I mean, at first it didn't really look like it was the, the correct pick to go against Dog Taker and Suarez, but just, I think, I don't know what the adjustment that Nairo did was, but it was the correct adjustment. He lived forever Dude, with the he last stock. Slapping on that last stock. He was dishing it out and not getting hit as well. And I mean that is something Zero Suit can do. Flip kick. Such a great tool and disadvantage, right? You can pretty much disengage out of most situations fairly safe. So I mean I, I, I feel like you stick it out with Zero Suit. It definitely worked. And I mean that was an unfortunate start too, because Tweak literally like Naira was going to kill someone with Flip Kick, and Tweet tried to follow up on the same target, and then yes. Tweet died, and then the other guy lived because of that. So, like, very unfortunate start, and they're still able to bring it back like that. Really, really nice. Looks like Stock Taker going to switch, switch it to the Wolf here. I, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. Because the fact that they won that, and, like, something like that happened in the beginning, like, okay, the yeah, they had a that, game. that strong of a lead, and then it just slowly depleted and even cost, like ended up them losing. Yeah, we Fit got a game. And try out the wolf. And if the wolf doesn't work out so well, you can always just go back to the Wii Fit on Game Four. That's true. Hey, well, it seems like Nairo sticking on Suarez is a little is bit going easier. On? Okay. I was like, no way is he actually gonna do that to us. <laughs> Especially to Yoshi. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> but I mean, nonetheless, Suarez taking a lot of damage from that. He didn't die, but 77. Okay, good up tilt into up air from Tweak. Nairo is off stage and hunting, and that was Suarez just tumbled to his death. Didn't have any more resources left, so didn't want to waste any time. You know what I mean? In those kind of situations, you just kind of like, okay, I'm just going to lose my stock so I can help my teammate faster. And I feel like we're seeing Nairo spend more time off stage than we are seeing on. <laughs> Constantly going off and chasing these opponents and just pressuring them, making sure that they have a most difficult time making it back to stage. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, Nairo definitely known for that. And with Zero Suit, you have all the tools in the world to stay out there, make offstage your nice little home. Yeah, true. I mean, we saw him throwing out, like, Zares, the side Bs, like, the kick flips, forward airs, just covering so much range. And the way he's, like, bouncing up and down. You have an so amazing crazy. double jump, like, one of the best double jumps in the game as well. Man, right now, Red Team starting things off really strong here. Uh, Wolf and Yoshi already down to their second stocks right now. Of course, you know, Tweak still, you know, a little bit unhealthy, but 105% with double back air onto Stock Taker. Oh, Ooh, is that kill? Oh, took that was, it out. That was tweak. tweak. Yep. Almost took out Nairo as well. In fact, the follow-up from, from Suarez is going to do it. Back-to-back -back kills from Blue Team going to put themselves in the Stock lead, but how much damage can they rack onto the Red Team before Suarez loses his Stock here? I mean, 105 for Yoshi's not too bad. Yoshi's pretty heavy. Like, this shouldn't kill Unless he got hit with the back here, then it might have killed. But those I mean, follow-ups for Nairo, they're really unpredictable, and that's what makes them so scary. Oh, up smash is going to do it, and especially being on that platform when the up smash started is going to give Nairo that little boost he needs. And man, as we talk about it, Tweak, the Arsene is almost out. Three. Boost kick hitting both members, but unfortunate up air connecting out to Nairo. Oh, the Arsene ran out just in time. That back air not going to be buffed up by Arsene. And speaking of back air, Stock Taker gets a sweet spot on his. Yeah, Nairo needs to play really safe right now as he gets comboed all over Battlefield. Okay, here comes the damage on Suarez right now. Red team um, in control of both their neutral exchanges. But here comes Suarez mixing it up, coming in right for Nairo. Really good oh, team yeah, play. Yeah, give him that Liu Kang kicks. Yeah, he's putting all the damage. So much damage. It's about 30 damage when fully connected. Nairo hits the back here on the Stock Taker. Wants to get another target, but Suarez going high, trying to completely avoid this Nairo edge guard. And Nairo getting stuck between blue team was so dangerous, but at the same time, he was able to escape kick flipping to safety, just like that. But we have the Arsene, the equalizer here for red team, and oh, here comes the kicks, the edge guard, no, Sock Taker with a very safe up B. Suarez is going to have to survive this onslaught. Oh, rolling right past the up smash, very, very dangerous. Yeah, just double jumping, and you see, that's why Yoshi can be so nice in doubles, because you just have that double jump, you can just really get out of the way of a lot of sticky situations. Mm. Okay, well, Arsene on cooldown again, and now beelining for Nairo. Ooh. Yeah, almost baited him in with that uh, forward smash after the throw there. Uh, off stage. Oh, so much things happening on the right side of the screen. The dash tag doesn't fully connect, but that's enough because Suarez did not have his jump. Now it's Stock Taker versus Nairo, but Nairo might die from this back throw. Not on oh. Battlefield, though. Yeah, not on Battlefield. Good DI, making sure that Nairo does, in fact, approach the corner. 
now we're just looking at who he's chasing with these dares. Oh, we're approaching to this guy. Dude, Naira has to Ooh. watch out for so many things. Dash attack, back throw by the edge of the stage. Forward air almost killing off of the top. Another forward air, and that one's going to do it off the top. That's going to put Stock Taker. That's going to put the score in Stock Taker and Suarez's favor. Wolf working. Yeah, Wolf working out um, really well. They really turned it up like the uh, in the middle middle of that game. It just they got such a huge lead. It was such an uphill battle for Nairo and Tweak. So we they will have the stage counter pick. We'll see if Nairo brings out another character. We might see the Politana. I mean, this is this might be the time to do the Politana, but honestly, Zero Suit's been working out. Yeah, I mean the Zero Suit has been working out yeah. too. So I mean though like we could see the Paul loot, but I, I do see them winning also with Zero Suit. Maybe Nairo just likes to have that sheer mobility in yeah. doubles, so I honestly think that if we see Politana come out, it will be in the second set of Grand Finals. Okay. Yeah, so Suarez and Stocktaker are coming from loser side, so they have to win two sets to win this tournament right now. Nairo and Tweak are still in the winner's bracket, chilling, so they only have to win one set to finish off this bracket. Okay, Nairo and Tweak's counter pick is going to be Smashville. They're trying to utilize that middle platform to their advantage. Yeah, much smaller stage, too, so we're going to see a lot more interactions for us here. Big conversion already, uh, 44 on the Suarez. Oh, no punish. Maybe Tweak thought, uh, Stocktaker was going for the ledge there. Got a little bit higher. Oh, Nair flip kick, not going to fully connect there. Definitely need the flip kick to connect for the stock. So the forward air does connect on the Nairo, and the kick would land onto Tweak. That's very unfortunate for Red Team. But there's the Paralyzer into a boost kick. Even rolling around Suarez to get the correct boost. Yeah, yeah, really smart coming out. Oh, and Stocktaker has hit so many people, like in this uh, in this two tournament with that catching the normal getup with that uh, forward smash from Wolf. That forward smash from Wolf is very active, so it's really good like lingering smash attack move. The back air just connects onto Nairo, but not enough to take the stocks. Send him at an awkward angle too. Is Tweak still? I mean, Tweak and Suarez still looking pretty healthy on their second stocks here. Yeah, but interesting enough, it's the stock tanks that are on their second stocks already, and the, the aggressors had their first. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a swap and rolls, or just, I mean, it is a smaller stage, too, so there's so much more forced interaction. Not a lot of room to reset. Right. That's true. So it would make sense that the more mobile characters are retaining their their lives. Again, Stocktaker hitting these uh, charged forward smashes on normal getup. Okay, down throw into back air. Counter isn't connecting onto Wolf. Ooh, the pivot grab. Oh, wow, Suarez almost killing Nairo with that Nair. Wow. Yeah. His back throw should do it for sure. And honestly, we're like the, the Nair was just a punished oh. tweak. Man, he almost converted off the uh, team attack up smash there. Oh, he tried to get the uh, right boost kick. A little tricky there. Oh, the jab lock into the down smash. Wow, Nairo taking quite a bit of damage. Oh. But going to kill Suarez off that. Yeah, landing the kick flip on the way back. You know, using Suarez's skull as an assist to make it back to the stage. OK, good team damage, but Nairo missing the, the follow up off the up tilt. Persona is out, and that's a big forward there from Suarez. Answering right back. Yeah, I mean, just back and forth, back and forth. Tweak, the only one with two stocks on deck, but we got a friend of his, Arsene, is out to play. Oh, okay, there's countering the down. the down smash, very smart. Getting tricky. Wow, and that Nair was deep. That Wolf is not coming back, and right now 2v1 for Suarez with three stocks, also for Red Team. Okay, and that's the armor, so we're actually not going to see any double jump armor, but landing a forward air into up air. An aggressive recovery from Suarez. Grab. Oh, almost connects the air there, but uh, Tweet dropping that. Let me see. Up throw? No, forward throw. Just going for stage positioning. There's the up throw into the boost kick. That'll do the trick. Nowhere to DI there. And yeah, very solid uh, comeback um, in terms of the set now, evening it up. 2 2 here for Nairo and Tweak. Kind of felt like they're in control that whole match. Did just a yeah, really outside good job. of like a few key points in the match. Definitely in control of Nairo Tweet. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, we'll, we'll see what the next stage is. I feel like these stages have been so impactful on like how the set has been going. We see a smaller, more congested stage like Smashville really working out well for Nairo and Tweet. But now we're going to Suarez and Stocktaker's counterpick. So if small, like small stages worked out for Nairo Tweet, 
probably going to utilize more of a bigger stage. Might see Town. Lila, that one's maybe. banned, actually. So, are we? What Lila? We're using uh, SoCal rule set. Oh, we are. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't even see what stage it is. Probably like I think it was final destination. Okay, final. All right, no Kalos, no uh, town. But still, now I mean they're eliminating that platform that was really getting utilized against them, um, and now it's just going to be a long flat stage. Plenty of room to uh, throw eggs and run around. Yeah, and I mean there's no platform extension as well, so. Just in terms of damage output, definitely going to be less on both sides. Yes. But I mean, that's probably the play that they need. They need to slow down red team from uh, from their damage output. Oh, yeah. When Nairo and Sweet start get, they, they get rolling, it, it looks so devastating. Ooh, sliding right under that neutral air. And Nairo is just all over the place. That, that's the one thing I he'll always just feel comfortable on Zero Suit. I feel like because of just the sheer mobility this character brings to the table. Even just seeing like, how deep he goes, it's, it's so comfortable. It's, on the it's incredible. Wow, that back air is so quick, so powerful. And just like that, Stock Taker losing the first dog. Okay, there's the reverse command grab. Trying to set up a Tetracar and get the egg away from me. Did not order that. Okay, wow, as far as trying to maybe bait a shield grab there, but he's not falling for it. Okay, there's the flip kick. Nairo using the down air to get down to the ground faster than uh, than usual. Really nice play there from Nairo. Okay, he's just going to grab a tweak, just utilizing his double jump, going immediately for Suarez. Now Stock Taker getting it back to on to tweak. See, Blue Team, like, both are staying a little bit closer to each other to try and cover. Wow, uh, he's going on the offense here. The down air tries to get the up smash to punish, but this pressure going back and forth and wow, four what? tilts into the up B. Just like that, that Sockdigger on his final stock. That's incredible. I mean, that's, that's just gonna put Tweak and Nairo just one stock closer to winning grand finals here at Tri State Showdown. Yeah, I mean, we'll see if Blue Team can uh, pull it together. I mean, Suarez is still sitting out so all control. three. So is, so is Tweak. <laughs> He's sitting on this Arsene, but Suarez is going to immediately get rid of that. And he's still sitting on the, those three stocks nice and pretty here. And got rid of that fresh Arsene, too. Like you said, that's exactly when you want to kill Joker. If you can get him right when that Arsene pops up, that is max value. Yeah, reset that timer, but just look at the chase that Nair was putting out. Consistently using his double jump going so high, just conditioning his opponents that he's just double jumping. He's not... You know, throwing out any moves, not being offensive, and then pulling the trigger when he needs to. Yeah, and I, I mean, Nairo has just been headhunting this whole entire tournament. He is going in, he's getting these stocks so quick. The perfect role for a bounty hunter. Oh, and he definitely wanted tech wall jump there. Um, got the tech in place, didn't do an immediate option. And now Stock Taker has to yank a stock from Suarez. I, at least they're both like decently healthy, but oh, they gotta, they're down two entire stocks. That's true, but two. triple egg onto Nairo, and that's gonna put him at 128. You know, a back air or a narrow out of shield is gonna put Nairo in a bad position, but a forward air just connect, and Stock Taker getting hit once again. So much back and forth here, the pivot grab. The Arsene is out as well. So much to fear here, and right now, I mean, they are definitely at prime percent to die to Arsene. Oh, there is Bear One to Backer almost finishes him off. There oh. is the counter, the call out from Tweak and the boost kick from Nairo. Wow, what? when did you even get there? When, exactly, <laughs> when did he appear up there? Like, How was he in the correct He teleported <laughs> over there and boost kicked it so high. Wow. Wow, that was a very explosive game five there. And uh, Tweak and Nairo definitely <laughs> showing their offensive capabilities. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've right. honestly thought, you know, that a long flat stage with no platform would slow down the damage output from Tweak and Nairo. But honestly, it was just the teamwork that made up for it. Yeah, I, it's it's so hard too. I mean, when you're getting ledge trapped on that stage as well, there's nowhere to reset your resources. So it, it can be volatile in a sense if you're the team in disadvantage most of the time mm -hmm. where it, de it definitely felt like that. So yeah, so it, it was rough. Congratulations, Nairo and Tweak. They are the champions of Tri-State Showdown doubles. Yeah, good stuff to both of them. They played extremely well.
Really cool to see the uh, Nairo Wario. Definitely, um, <laughs> I one of my first times seeing it for I sure. I mean, if we saw double Wario though, Do double Wario would have been, been very fun. Would have been cool. <laughs> but nonetheless, maybe maybe next time. Maybe, maybe next, next time. time. You're right. So we're going to in fact switch out because that is the end of doubles. And you know what? It's time to get the singles action rolling. It's already been happening over at the Master Hand Gaming channel. So if you're not, if you don't have both those channels up, you're messing up. Be sure to check them out as well. But for us, that's going to be it, Korean, at least for now. Yeah, yeah, for now. Um, like I said, uh, or like you said, uh, singles action. I believe Nairo and Tweak are also going to do a best of five Terry exhibition. <gasps> that's well right. Before singles start. So um, look for if you guys want to see uh, Tweak and Nairo do Terry Dittles, best of five. Look forward to that. But we'll be seeing you guys later.